Hi everybody, how's it going? Today is my October favourites because it's the end of October, it's actually the middle of November. <laughs> I've done really well, basically. This is really late for favourites video and I'm very sorry because in a couple of weeks time you're going to hear my November favourites but I hope you don't mind too much because I've got some really good products and some really cool things to share with you. So without further ado, this is what I loved in October. I actually have quite a few beauty favourites this month. Recently, the beauty favourites have been kind of whittling themselves down in my favourites videos because I haven't been trying very many new products. But the past couple of weeks, I've tried a few new things and I've gone back to some old favourites as well. So the first product that I want to talk about is this. This is a sheet mask. This is the Beauty Pro Rejuvenating Collagen Mask with Green Tea Extract. At the place I used to work, we used to sell these. They were really new when I left, so I was intrigued because I'd never tried a sheet mask before, so I bought quite a few, <laughs> quite a few, went home that evening and tried it. And basically, you just apply it, you cover your face with it, you leave it on for, I think this one is, how long does this say for? You leave it on for 15 minutes. I left it on for longer than that because I just, it doesn't really matter. I just want to like soak it all in. When you take it off, it leaves like a serum, which you just rub into your skin. And my skin felt so moisturized and looked so glowing. And I went on to FaceTime with Tim and he was like, you look really nice. And I was like, it's definitely this. Tim never compliments me when I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> so. It must have been this. Nice. I really like it and they were all they're also really quite affordable, I believe. So definitely give these a try. And it's funny because I actually got sent a few um this morning. They arrived at my house this morning. So I'd never heard of this brand before I saw them at work and they suddenly sent me a few of their masks. So weird fate. The next product I've been loving is an oldie but a goodie. This is the NARS multiple in the shade orgasm. Oh my god, I love this stuff. I have got so much of this left, it's going to last me such a long time. Basically, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's an orgasm in a tube. <laughs> it is basically a cream blush. Um, it's like a really beautiful peachy shade with gold shimmers running through it. And this looks so lovely if you're going for a really glowy, natural makeup look. Just wear like foundation, brows, mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Whack this on your cheeks, this is your highlighter and your blush in one, makes you look really healthy and glowy. Put on a little bit of a balm and you're ready to go. Um, this is gorgeous and I used to love it, kind of found other things and I've gone right on back to it. Speaking of, speaking, <laughs> speaking of whack on a balm, um, I fall in love with this and also the other shades in this line. I just picked up the first one I saw. This one is Rose. So this is the Tarte... I don't actually know what they're called, but they look like this. They're really pretty. And it's basically like a tinted balm. It's super duper sheer, like really sheer. Barely any, especially this one, it's just there. Barely any color comes off. There's a nude one and a berry one. Um, I think the berry one's actually probably my favorite because it just has that little bit more pigment to it because I've really been feeling a slight, I mean don't look at my face right now, I'm obviously wearing a lot of makeup. I've been really into a more natural makeup look recently, um, so this has just been really nice to put on if I'm going out for dinner and I know I'm going to be eating and I don't want to worry about my lips, um, it's really easy to just put it on, go out for dinner, it'll come off, just whack it back on, back on, whack it back on without a mirror. It's just easy and just gives your lips a little bit of colour, a little bit of shine and it's nice. On the other end of the spectrum, something that you will definitely be expecting, my probably my favourite lip product of the month has been my Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid, what's it called? Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, I think that's called, um, in Bow and Arrow. This is the most beautiful nude. Like, it's a brown mauve nude. That's the swatch. I was wearing it earlier today. I put on a different lip product which I also love but I've only loved it for a few days and it was throughout November so it will definitely be in next month's favourite so if you want to know what's on my lips right now wait for next month this is Bow and Arrow I get so many compliments when I wear this colour on Instagram in person one of my best friends wants to buy it because I borrowed I lent it to her for a night out and she loved it it's just beautiful and it lasts really well but it also fades really nicely it's not the longest lasting liquid lipstick I've ever tried but it's the nicest formula to wear away. God, a bird made me jump. So I really 
I don't know why I'm showing you the swatch, not the product. So I highly, highly recommend this product if you're looking for one of those kind of 90s kind of grungy nudes, but it's very wearable. It's gorgeous. Another oldie but goodie is my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. To be honest with you, these are a match made in heaven. Quite an expensive match made in heaven, but a match made in heaven. What I've been really liking recently is just getting my base flawless and glowy and then just having mascara and big eyebrows, as always. But I've been using this as my blush. He's had his time to shine, he can just move right on. But a really kind of subtle contour with the bronzer and then this highlight on top of that orgasm multiple is honestly, it's there. It's honestly beautiful. It's so glowy, but it's not got chunky shimmer in it. It's very, very smooth and finely milled. So it looks really glowy and natural. That's kind of what I've been going for. Another favorite of mine this month has been the Ardell Demi Wispies. That's a lie. The Ardell Wispies, not Demi's, Wispies. These have been my favorite lashes for so, so long, but I just don't think I give them credit enough. So I'm wearing them today. I wear them, if I'm ever wearing lashes, 99.9% .9 of the time it's the wispies because they aren't crazy expensive, they do the job, they look really fluttery and pretty. Um, I've put mascara on top of them today but if you don't they look really natural, on me at least because I do have quite big lashes naturally so they kind of blend in to the similar length to my real lashes so they just plump them up a little bit. Maybe if you do have smaller eyes or smaller lashes they might look quite dramatic on you so it just depends what look you're going for but I really love these so much. <laughs> okay, so those are all the beauty favourites. I mean, that's a lie! Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot this. This next favourite is a little bit luxe, and it's also a hair favourite. The fact that I've spent money on my hair is baffling. But I recently invested in, you can't see, in some Balmain clippings. Um, obviously, I used to work at Salon Services, which is like Sally's beauty supply, and we stocked Balmain hair extensions, and I would always eye them up, and I'd be like, Oh, they're so beautiful. Uh, but I was like, no, 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 no. I don't need them. I have hair extensions. They're shit. And then when I quit, I was like, I'm not gonna waste this discount. So <laughs> I bought some just one day on a whim, and they actually came out to be quite well, a very reasonable price to be honest. So obviously everyone's heard of the Balmain Fashion House. Um, this is like the spin-off. <laughs> Obviously, because I worked there, we had a lovely rep named Lulu who I really loved. She would come in and tell us about the hair and tell us, you know, where it kind of came from, the story behind Balmain hair, um, and why why Balmain have brought out hair extensions. And it's a really interesting story, and I'm sure you can Google it because I'm not gonna bore you right now. But it's basically really, really high quality, really nice. Hair. I love that it comes in a little dress bag because of the fashion hair. What I love the most about these is that they're memory hair. So it's part real human hair, but also part um, thin synthetic. Sorry, they need to be brushed. They're looking a little bit ratty. <laughs> Look nice. <laughs> Look nice for the people. I'm so sorry, Lulu, if you're watching. And basically, memory hair means that if you use heat up to 160 degrees on it, um, or 120, I think it's 120 degrees. It holds the curl, and then if you go out in the rain and your hair gets wet, and it's soaked through, you go back inside, it dries, and it goes back into the curls it was in. So I, the first night I wore these out, I wore them out clubbing, <laughs> got caught in the rain queuing outside for about half an hour to 45 minutes, got inside the club, my hair, was still curly, it was great. And they're just really, really natural. Like They're a really good color, they match my hair pretty well, but I wanted a little bit of a lighter tone to go through the ends because I wanted to give my hair a little bit of dimension. So if you ever notice that my hair looks a little bit longer in videos, it's not much longer than my real hair to be honest, but it just adds a little bit extra length and a bit of fullness. This is not sponsored by Bar 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 Bar. This is not sponsored by Balmain. Trust me, I'm not being sponsored by Balmain. Onto the more lifestyle, music, etc. stuff. So, first favourite is a plant favourite. This little man is new to my plant family. You can't see him though. This little guy, he's not actually that little, he's quite big. He'll grow to be huge. Not huge, but pretty big. And his name is Alf. He's named after my great uncle Alfred because I adore my great uncle Alfred and it's his 100th birthday on Saturday. So, I thought, new plant, I want to milestone 
the year I got this plant because he'll grow to be quite big and I feel like I'll have him for a long time so I wanted something to remember him by so Alf the house plant. I just think he's gorgeous. He looks like a little palm tree to me. What is this called? I need to get him a nice pot to sit in. At the moment I'm just... Oh what is this? A spineless yucca. That's what he is. A spineless yucca. He's my newest plant addition. Actually I've got a lot of new plants. There's one, two, three. I've got four new plants this month. Four. Seven new plants. Seven new plants this month. Shout out to Alf. <laughs> my next favourite will be no shock to you. It was the Book of Mormon. Um, I told you guys that Tim and I were going to go see the Book of Mormon last month and it did not disappoint me. I was cracking up. <laughs> Tim found it really funny. Um, it's the writers of South Park. So if you like South Park and that kind of humour, you can really see it coming through in the Book of Mormon. Like the voices that they put on and stuff like that funny. The music was amazing, the dancing was amazing. I just really, really enjoyed it. It was a really good kind of feel good show to go and see. Um, and I'm really glad that Tim enjoyed it because obviously it was my anniversary present to him and it would have been awkward if we didn't enjoy it. We went out for dinner and it was really nice and we had a great time. My next favorite is pretty intense. I have started The Walking Dead because everyone's been talking about it and I feel like I am missing out massively because obviously Pretty Little Lies has finished. I can only watch Once Upon a Time once a week now, so I needed something to binge watch. And oh my god, I have found it. The Walking Dead. I'm on series two, episode nine, I think. And I was watching it with Tim. We started it when he came home for the weekend. And he's already watched it, so he's re-watching it with me. So I've just like stormed ahead and I'm seeing him this weekend and I'm hoping to finish season two by the time I see him so that we can watch season three together. I love it. I'm in love with the characters. I love the gore. I love horror films, but I don't really enjoy watching horror films by myself. So this is perfect for me because it's like little mini snippets of like horror films but in more kind of consumable chunks, you know? It's really funny, it's really, well, I find parts of it really funny. It's quite dark, <laughs> but I find it really funny. The plot just, you just don't know what's gonna happen, where it's gonna go, it's mad. And I love it, and obviously it's now on season seven, so I've got a lot of catching up to do, but don't worry. Probably by my next favorites video, I will have like caught up knowing me. So if you guys are hearing all this hype about The Walking Dead, um, about like season seven, oh my God, get on it. <laughs> Get on it! What's next? Okay, my other TV favourite is everyone's TV favourite at the moment, Black Mirror. I watched Black Mirror before it was cool, uh, <laughs> to clarify. Like, two years ago now, it must have been, my drama teacher at school made me watch White Bear, which is one of the old ones. And the second I, that episode ended, I was absolutely obsessed by it. Like, I, it's, I think it's still my favourite episode to date, to be fair, but I was just completely taken in, completely hooked, and I watched all of them. I didn't binge watch it because I feel like it's something you really need to take in, but I watched them as quickly as I could, <laughs> whilst also appreciating it. A new series has come out, and I've only watched two because I'm, I promised I'll watch them with Tim, and obviously he lives two and a half hours away, so I can only watch them like once every two weeks, so it's kind of annoying. It is good because it makes me kind of digest the one I've already watched. Yeah, I've watched the first two. The second one of the new series was mind-blowing. Like, it was so intense and so brilliant. And it kind of reminded me of White Bear. It was sort of a similar, um, just a similar kind of style. So if you liked White Bear, you'd really like the second episode. I can't remember what it's called. And the first one was called Downfall, which I made my dad watch because I was like, Pa, if you need to understand my generation a bit more, you need to watch this. <laughs> Put it in front of him and he was like, fuck, <laughs> your generation is screwed. <laughs> Definitely recommend Black Mirror if you enjoy kind of dystopic, almost like sci-fi, um, future stuff. It's really, really interesting and also terrifyingly relatable, especially the first one of the new series. If you are an online person, it's kind of scary. You need to watch it. On to the music. What have I been enjoying music-wise? I've been listening to some oldies but goodies this month. My phone contract got fucked up, so I had no 3G, so I couldn't use my Spotify when I was driving to Bristol and Bath to visit my friends. So I literally just had to listen to my old iTunes playlist and I just put it on shuffle and just saw what played. And I have got old <laughs> songs 
old songs. I listened to the song Girls Fast Cars by The Wombats. I was a massive Wombats fan because I fancied one of my best friends at the time and he loved The Wombats so I felt I had to love The Wombats. And I did love The Wombats but like I thought I made it really obvious that I love The Wombats. It's really awkward because he's like my best friend's boyfriend now and it's just Good times! Good times! I love you, Tom! <laughs> I listened to this song and it took me right back. Next, makes me cringe, takes me back. I also love the song Travelling by Paper Lions. This came up and I was like, oh my god, what a tune! Very truly yours, I'd write you a song. I don't remember how I found this song. Um, I completely forgot about it, but I listened to it and I was like, oh my god, this is such a nice song. Mm. Also, Hell Yeah Fucking Right by Drake and Lil Wayne. <laughs> This song, I used to listen to it all the time, so I was like, I have to learn the word, so... Anyway, Many of Horror by Biffy Clyro. I had a very emotional moment at Biffy Clyro at Reading, not last year, or the year before the year before that, and this song just takes me back. lighting's going so I'm gonna end this video here I really hope you guys enjoyed my favorites of October they were some good ones um I hope you have the best day and I will see you in my next video